What's up sluts and do not be offended because slut stands for sexy ladies under the sun. My name is Max as always or doing it for her or to shorten that shit up you can call me D-I-F-H and really I'm only making this video today uh, just another random commentary topic. I'm here to talk about helping you out with your YouTube channel. I did this uh, kind of video a long time back. I think I only had like 600 subs when I made it but now I've, I've doubled that. I'm at about 1.2k. And I'd like to just talk about it again a little bit more in depth for uh, however long this is going to be, six minutes, something like that. So I hope you guys uh, care to listen. If not, that's cool. But for all you smaller channels out there like me, this is some good tips I can give you guys. But if you're doing pretty successful, then you pretty pretty much know these. One, it's of course your quality of your content. If you're going to be serious about doing YouTube, you are going to need some HD stuff. It's no offense to you standard definition guys, I used to be one too, I used to make montages with the Dazzle and stuff way back in the day, and people just don't like that. The standard has become the HD PVR and the Blackmagic Intensity Pro for a couple years now, it's just the standard, and uh, you gotta pay attention for when you make your videos, so like, for instance, if you're watching the gameplay now, check out the screen, I got this brightness going on, I got this cool color effects going on, so you don't get that plain dull stuff you know those little things and like I cropped out the top lines that the HD PVR makes I disabled the resample to make the video even smoother I just do a lot of stuff that improves it and makes it you know really well done so I hope you guys take that into consideration and for those of you that do watch my videos notice that uh, I kinda I kinda do what I can to make the videos best as possible so uh, another thing um, you're gonna need a good mic. I was using like a really shitty Logitech headset and uh, yeah when I go back and look at my old videos I can see why people were telling me that my videos would be better if I got a better mic cuz uh, that shit sucked. I'm not gonna lie. I sounded like dick. Dick in a fucking concealed jar. That's exactly how I sounded. That's the best way I can put it. Dick inside of a fucking bubble. So you need a good mic so your sound quality is perfect. I'm actually not even really happy with this one. I mean, this is a really good mic, um, but I bought a really shitty filter that doesn't really filter. Um, so I gotta get another one. Uh, in the meantime, I'll stick with this. But uh, there's certain things that it does with certain words that I say, like my P's. It kind of pop, pop, pops if you can hear it. I don't know. Off of that shit, though. Um, once you got all that down, you're making your videos, you're doing what you can, you know, just upload content no matter how hard it gets, guys. Even if your videos are only getting like eight views, you want to keep uploading. And the main thing I can tell you is with that is get an uploading schedule. You can't just upload, you know, once a month or once every two months and expect to go somewhere. I'm not trying to call out people here, but I have some buddies of mine that think like they're going to upload a video and it's going to get so many views and they're going to be so happy. I mean, I worked where I get here. I mean, uh, granted, I didn't work as hard as a lot of people did because I got lucky being one of the first UFC Undisputed 3 commentators. So I know I had some luck involved with that, but I still did work hard and I still do to this day. I put a lot of effort and time into this. And it does take time, guys. Like, so many people think they can just, oh, I can buy the PVR. I can be just like this guy, just like that guy. I can be better than my favorite commentators. But you realize this shit's hard, and that's what makes people quit and regret buying the equipment and just want to stop doing videos because it's hard there's a lot of nasty haters out there that you know you need a heart to do this uh, one of my big favorite commentators I was watching the other day mentioned this that you need a heart to do this at times I've even been told just on Xbox Live for no reason by people that I thought wanted to add me because they were fans to go kill myself and shit it's just stupid I mean I that shit doesn't affect me so I I can take it but a lot of people that shit gets to you and a lot of big commentators have talked about it so you need a heart to do this, and uh, for, for many ways, you need a heart to do this, though. One, to stop the negativity from flowing through you, and two, to keep going and going and going. You want to upload as much as you can. I'm I'm uploading almost, almost daily. I've been doing daily for a while, but now I've been taking breaks in and out because YouTube has been boning me. So that's nothing I can help, really, but I'm trying to get back on schedule. So, yeah. Try and find an upload schedule, guys. I mean, if you're a new channel starting out, maybe three times a week, go from there, then up it to four. Then once you start getting a lot of views and some uh, big-time subscribers, you know, 
like even 20 people that are going to watch you no matter what you put up you want to satisfy them you know answer their comments if they ask questions answer them upload videos just for those guys until you get some more then they'll tell their friends and then those friends will tell their friends and you know it just you, you grow it just takes some time though it just really sucks one last bit of advice I can give you is try to not put any negativity into your videos because if you come off as a nasty little hater you know you can only get so far only so many people are going to want to see your stuff and they're not going to want to subscribe anymore you know what I mean like you know the nasty hating channels that hate on the big timers yeah sure they get some subs but they cap off because only so many people want to hate with you you know what I mean uh, also kind of addressing big time feelings has been a no-no if you're a smaller guy I've uh, I've done that twice there was an episode of my road to 100 rank victory series I did or I said I don't appreciate what some fans are doing it doesn't make them seem like fans and I kinda came off as a dick and now I have some people disliking every video I make like they're subscribed just to dislike because I said some stuff months ago and then I kinda sincerely uh, said it again in another video my 100th video and that got some more people to just dislike every video I put up so yeah you kinda get those people but that just shows you're a part of their everyday life and uh, they take the time to stop by your channel and just dislike your stuff because you're important to them that's all I can say so don't be discouraged by dislikes either guys that's my last tip I can give you I hope you enjoyed the gameplay I went like 24 and 3 with the M16 after the patch it's a beast ass gun now yeah I didn't even talk anything about this gameplay till now shit uh, hope you enjoyed the commentary guys as always my name is Max and I'll see you again with my next video. Peace.